Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Love and in today's video as you can see from the title it will be to the point and I will be talking about a really important topic which is trending nowadays and many students and many applic applicants for the Canada visa applications are confused about. So basically, currently there are many students and many people who are confused if uh, IRCC has actually started calling people as an interview before handing out their PPRs or handing out their approvals of their visa application. And I'll answer this. I'll answer this question if it's true or not, or if it's a scam. And I'll also share like from what number will you be getting the call from if you get a call, and basically what type of questions will they ask you and how you should answer them. So basically, this video will be like a complete guide for that, and I will cover each and every point to the point, and I'll try to make it in a short video so you guys, uh, your guys's question and confusion can be answered in this one particular video, and you won't have to go and look for more information okay, on firstly, this. Firstly, to begin with, yes. The, this is happening nowadays that some applicants are could be students or workers or PR applicants are getting phone calls from IRCC on their application. It's not like an interview. They just ask you a few questions which you need to answer to the point. And if your answers are correct, then uh, your application goes smoothly. So basically, before I begin about the questions and what type of questions and if it's a scam and what if you get a scam call. So to tell you in advance, uh, so as you can see on the screen, you will get a phone call from this particular number. It's plus nine triple one four one seven eight two triple zero. So my friend got a call from this particular number. That's why I'm able to share the screenshot of this particular number. So if you would be getting a call from IRCC, this is the num particular number from which you would be getting a call. And uh, now to talk about if it's a scam call or a real call. <clears throat> so yes it is a real call from the ircc but i'm not saying that, that this yeah. would be real 100 percent all the time there could be many scammers at this point because there are so many applicants right now waiting for their application results so scammers definitely will take advantage of this and there would be many scammers who would be trying to call you not from this number that i showed you but from many other numbers and they might ask you for your personal information which you please don't need to give that so you don't need to give any ircc officer if uh, on the phone your personal information like your uh, details about your application because the IRCC officers have no authority to ask you information on your application like personal information on your application like application number UCI because they already have it right so why would they ask you again they don't need to they're not allowed to ask you information about your financial conditions or your financial information like how you're going to spend the money how you're going to carry money to Canada and in which bank account did you pay your fees etc etc so make sure you don't answer these questions and if you find any of these questions so make sure to hang up the call if you find any question that could be fishy and guys so there are many scammers going on right now and many people are being scammed so just be aware of that and basically if the ircc does call you for your uh, regarding your application so the questions that they will ask you and that they asked my friend so i will tell you a little bit so basically uh, when you apply for your visa right so you make sure that you upload an SOP as well which is the statement of purpose in which you write a little bit about your course and why you're particularly choosing that course and why Canada and then what's your future goals so they're gonna ask similar questions like so why did you choose this particular course why Canada so you can just tell them that the facilities are good and I chose this course because it's related to my field and so on I like answer according to your particular course and they could ask you questions about like what's your education background like questions like these which are basic which does not leak any of your private information can be answered so like they ask they can ask you about what's your uh, education background so if you're going after 12 so you can tell you graduated 12th with CBSE or any of the boards which you're studying in and then they might or if you're doing going for post graduation then you can tell them about your graduation degree and uh, then they'll ask you like uh, oh, what are your future goals and like what would you like what do you uh, like what would you do after you are graduated from your program so basically in that question they're looking for an answer which is that i would my main reason is to come back to india please don't tell them if they answer if they ask you a question like what are you going to do after your program is done don't tell them i'm going to get a job in canada i'm going to work in canada make sure to answer it in a way and tell them like no i will be coming back to india that is my main goal uh, and, and don't just straight up tell them that i want to settle in canada that's not the correct answer that they're looking for and that could harm your application other than that 
it could be a scammer too so guys make sure to answer only to those first make sure that it's uh, from an appropriate number and basically ircc doesn't call you randomly at any time of the day they would definitely be emailing you first or sending an uh, a notification on your online application that you would need an interview phone call so that's one thing to uh, verify if it's a real call or not if you just get a random call uh, like in a day without any notification that could be a big scammer if you just get a call from any number any random number other than the number that i showed you it could be a scam and uh, depending on the type of questions that the person asks that the officer asks uh, you could judge if it's a scam or not no no ircc officer will ask you about your financial information information on your application like i mentioned or how would you be paying and how how much money you in which get. bank account like they would never ask you such questions if it's a real immigration officer if you hear such questions guys just hang up and uh, contact ircc and tell them about that you received a scam call but unfortunately if you do end up falling for a scam then there is another number for the ircc helpline so you can contact that number right away if you think you fell for a scam so i'm going to post that number on the screen for you so basically as you can see uh, the helpline ircc helpline number is one triple eight two four two two one zero zero which you can call and complain uh, if you think you fell for a scam and uh, don't worry and don't stress about these calls simply just i would say the sop that you applied for in your application just go through that sop once and even if you don't remember that sop just answer the questions to the point and don't elaborate anything simply answer to the point and make sure you're answering correctly Basic and information about your application and about your program about your college like why did you choose that program why canada and uh, the only other thing that you need to keep in mind is that don't answer personal questions about your applications like your uci number your application number don't share that on any call ask them about their id about the officer's id and why do they need it because they already have it like question them in front uh, and and when they ask you about your application number and don't share your financial information like just be smart and be aware and even if you get a call a real call from them don't stress about it i don't know why people are stressing because because clearly when you apply online on the gc key account you will see that uh, one point it says that does your application need an interview call or not and 99 percent of applications don't need it but even if you did even if they did ask you for an interview call uh, don't need to stress about it just answer their questions and i think you all would be good like my friend he got a, a real call from ircc and he answered all the questions to the point and it only lasted like the call only lasted for around 10 to 15 minutes and everything was fine after that uh, so yeah just to make it a little easier and convenient for you guys i've also prepared this list of around nine questions that you could be prepared for that you could expect from the ircc officer if he calls you like legit then he could he could ask you any of these questions so i'm going to i'm going i'm going to go through each and every question and i've written down points as you can see in the brackets to uh, to which you can answer like that so basically the first question that they could ask is like which college are you going to for students and why so you could name your college and then for why you can just tell them like it's a reputed college it's, they have great facilities great exposure etc etc just like make up your points which you added in your sob and then the second question that they will ask you is which course and why particularly this course so then you can like name some advantages of the course according like you can like google it up and you can like make up the answers third question is like why canada so then you can tell them like canada has good facilities reputed college exposure to international students and you know like make up points for this as well and the fourth question it says uh, so are you, are you going to travel alone so for students most likely in this pandemic you will be traveling alone for those who are traveling with a spouse in spouse applications uh, if you apply together then you can tell them that yes i will be traveling with my partner uh, the next question it says who will be covering your expenses so for students it's most likely parents so you can just tell them my parents will be covering my expenses my living expenses and my college expenses and then they might ask you about like the job of your father or your mother and then whatever you fill in your application you just need to say that same thing and then you can also tell them if you applied for GIC that you did apply for a GIC and your pay, uh, college fee has been paid by GIC next question that they could ask you is about your educational background so if you're going after 12th you can tell them i did my 12th in this school from this particular board if you graduated from india and you're going for masters 
then you can just tell them I did my graduation in, in India in this particular field and in this college. The next question that they will ask you, that they could ask you would be, where will you be staying in Canada? So you can just simply tell them that I haven't decided it yet because most likely we don't decide where we would be staying unless we get the visa approved. So you can tell them like I haven't decided it until I finalize my flight ticket and most likely I will be staying in a student housing near my college. Next question they could ask is how much fees have you paid to the college? So whatever fees you have paid, you can just tell them that you have paid this particular fees. Don't tell, don't start giving them information about your bank account or you send this the fees to this particular bank account. Just simply tell them that this is the amount of fees that you paid. The last question that they could ask that I feel they could ask you would be about your future plans after, after about like after you complete your course. So you can simply tell them like don't tell them I'm going to settle in Canada or I'm going to like work uh, in Canada. It's simple, that's, the best answer that you could give is like after I graduate, after I finish my program, I would be coming back to uh, India and I would be working in India. That's what I wrote in my SOP as well and that's what you sh should probably write in your SOP and you, could, you should answer mostly according to your SOP. The major things that I've written over here that you do not need to share is your application number, UCI and any financial or bank details. It could be anything. So this was the list of the questions. You can even take a screenshot of this if you want. And if you still have any more questions, if you feel I missed any of the questions, you can drop down a comment and I will get back to you. Yeah, that that's about it for the video, guys. I do hope it clarified your doubts about the IRCC interview call, the new topic which is going on. If you still have any questions about this topic or about the interview call, uh, do drop down a comment. I will get back to all of you guys. Do leave a like if you find this video helpful. Do subscribe to my channel as I will be posting more informative uh, videos in the future. As always guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.